Good morning, y'all. Well, thought we'd take you out to the garden this morning. Uh, we ain't been there in a minute. So we're gonna take a walk down Rose Lane. And you can tell definitely falls here. Things are starting to die back. But look here, we've got our walkway almost done. This is gonna be so pretty next year. And look how different the garden looks. The arches, the cattle panel arches are gone. But we've got quite a bit going on in the garden. These here are the Brussels sprouts and the cold is not affecting them whatsoever. But I tell you, those pesky white moths that lay the the eggs or whatever they are the the green worms they're active still now over here in the middle now the brussels sprouts are down there these are the turnips, right? Starting there, down here, and they, they're they doing beautiful. So far, all the fall crops are doing beautiful. And then we've got the collards here. And this is what I was talking about with the white moths. They are just laying them eggs. Let's see if I can find one of them green worms. They're just real tiny, but boy, oh boy, do they love the brassicas. I'm sorry about the wind. There's not much I can do about that. Now over here is the cabbage. And over there, look what we've got. The beets are growing nice. Now this bed is almost done. Um, it's got the rhubarb in it and it's got a few carrots left. And over there, those are the blueberries. Now what we're gonna do in the next, I don't know, probably week, maybe week and a half, we're gonna clear this bed except for what stays permanent, like the blueberries and the rhubarb and from here all the way down to the um, blueberries we're gonna put our garlic in now over there we've got more carrots and the eggplant is still producing they produce really nice here in the fall. Now I just picked probably four beautiful eggplants and made the eggplant parmesan yesterday. But here's another example of what those worms are doing to my collards. Looky there. It got so bad that we had to use seven dust yesterday. But just look at that. That just, oh, makes me sick because I was hoping to can collards and I might still be able to once it cools down even more. See, collards don't mind freezing temperatures. So once them moths die off, those um, green worms will stop and we'll be able to get a good crop, so. We just pick the worms off when we find them. Of course, the carrots. Here's a couple more eggplants. Now over here, we, well, there are our tribes over there. We got more carrots here 
And here, this greenery dying back is the green beans. We always chop and drop those. That way it'll nourish the soil for next year. And this is the last sunflower. Oops. There we go. Sorry about that. Little doppy. Well, a lot doppy. And the same with this bed. We did the chop and drop. We've got um, like our butternut squash, our green bean vines. We've got that all in here. We'll chop that up and we'll let that decay over the winter time and that will nourish our soil. Now these beets didn't do so well. And these aren't doing so well. So the garden's a little give and take. But those worms, oh my goodness, they are really bad. But look how nice that looks. All of that growth, it's beautiful. Let me move you slower. Now, Look at what we've got going on here. Look how huge those greens are. Now those are also turnips, but we're gonna start harvesting the greens, the, the tops, so we can make some greens. The beautiful leaves, and they haven't been attacked too awful much. There's some worm damage, but not too much. Let's see what we got going on underneath. Uh, can't quite see the turnips. There's one. You see it down there? And then in the middle, under all those turnip greens, we've got and I don't think our purple green beans are going to produce. I think I just got them in too late. So we are going to try again next year. And you know, I was able to can enough green beans this year that I think the purple peas or the purple beans is what we're going to grow next year. But look how pretty that flower is. There's a real pretty one. Love the color of them. All right, y'all. Well, I just wanted to come out and give a quick update on the garden since we haven't been here a minute. So I hope everyone is having a good week. I hope everyone's trying to stay safe during hurricane season. I know I've got some friends in Mississippi and down south that's going to be affected by this. My prayers are definitely with them. And I just wanted to say that if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy it. And if you're not subscribed to Pennington Garden Life, come on over. We're good people. Y'all have a blessed day.